Greetings everyone. My name is Rahul Modo and today I am going to deliver a presentation about my paper on empowering elderly safety one day CNN and IoT enabled fault detection system. The contents are introduction, fault risk factors, types of fault, detection of fault, observation and findings, proposed model, proposed 1D CNN model, result and analysis, conclusion and future scope. Starting with the introduction, according to NPHC National Program for Healthcare of Elderly, by 2025, 12% of Indian population will be elderly and the majority of them will favor independent living. Among them, 8 to 10 percent leads to the highest level of care. Therefore, the using of machine learning in AALS, ambient assisted life system areas like fault detection has potential to significantly affect society. The integration of cutting edge technology including deep learning, smartphone or smart man capabilities and wearable devices has sparked a transformative revolution in fault detection systems, offering a real-time monitoring and swift response in event of fault. This research study presents a fault detection system that hardness advances deep learning techniques, particularly 1D CNN, that means one-dimensional convolutional neural network to achieve remarkable accuracy scores of 91% and 92% using evaluated using CISPOL and UMAFOL dataset, which consists 9 and 25 features. The obtained through hand engineering these features demonstrate the effective in fault detection system. The potential of advanced fault detection system lies in ability to significantly enhance the safety of well-being of individual by enabling timely assistance after fault. Falls happen when the person loses their balance during walking or standing. There are many types of falls. Some of them are fall from bed, fall from sitting, fall from walking or standing. Other types of fall are shown in this picture. Detection of fall. There are three basic kinds of fall detection techniques that are used in present scenarios. Wearable device, camera based device and ambience based device. Whereas the wearable device are low cost also easy to configure but it does not provide any visuals whereas the camera based device are provide live visuals but it need more computational power and it's not too easy to configure also the ambience device regarding its high cost is easy to con configure also it does not need high computational power to work with Observation and finding. After thorough study of research papers, some limitations are found. Those loopholes are listed as follows. Camera based methods are expensive and require huge amount of data to store and process. Smartphones are not designed to work with wearable fault detection equipment. Battery consumption is a drawback of using mobile devices, but software optimizations will also extend the battery time. In this study, it was found that in mobile-based approach, many algorithms are used, but KNN and SBN give the highest accuracy. Similarly, in the ambience-based approach, CNN and RNN have the highest accuracy. It's possible that not all fall re require the assistance of emergency personnel. For a medical professional, it might hard to understand technical terms like power consumption, battery backup, response time, sensor installation, etc. 
a hybrid strategy that uses affordable wearable and ambient device would be a good way to deal with with annoying factors that are mentioned previously to address the fault detection among the elderly we are currently designing a revolutionary system that combines smartphone and ambient device technology our proposed system utilizes deep learning model like 1d crn to create a highly accurate fault detection model capable of distinguish between false and non false the model from the basis of iot uh, based alert system that incorporates both a smartphone and ambient device enable the detection of fault falls both indoors and outdoors if fault occurs at indoor the model sends an alert to the family member inside the house whereas it notifies a nearby caretaker about the user location for or in the case of outdoor falls that means the one is cnn networks are the key in fault detection analyze fault detection system analyzing sensor data from device like smartphone and smartwatch ambient device etc here as we can see in this picture the person wear a uh, smartwatch and in their pocket they are, they have a uh, smartphone nowadays smartphone and smartwatches comes with embedded uh, sensors like uh, accelerometer gyroscope and magnetometer which we can extract the feature like angular velocity etc to find to to distinguish the fault and not fault scenarios proposed 1d cnn model as i mentioned before we have hand engineered 25 feature data set from syscall and umafault data sets those 25 features are x y z of accelerometer gyroscope and magnetometer also there are angular velocity acceleration max amplitude mean amplitude and mean amplitude also accelerometer variance skewness also gyroscope and magnetometer max amplitude mean amplitude and mean amplitude and gyroscope variance and magnetometer variance here are the proposed model of 1d cnn in order to construct the 1d cnn model architecture is specified utilization of sequential api that is provided by keras two convolution layers that have been added each with 128 and 256 filters correspondingly after each convolution layer comes a max pooling layer which helps minimize the spatial dimension of the data the output is flattened by the model and it is run through a dense layer that has 24 uh, that has 64 units and a dropout layer in order to prevent overfitting in the end a dense layer that only single unit uses sigmoid activation in order to binary classification the optimize use here the adam adam optimizer in com compilation process along with binary entropy loss result and analysis in this detailed comparison of various models with their respective accuracy are examined in classification task like ramachandran et al employed ordinary logistic regression and and kn achieve an accuracy 84.1% like that ballob et al used knn reaching accuracy of 87% like that chezali and petrozol used knn obtain, obtaining an accuracy of 84.62% there are many more in their 
in the comparison section as you can see but there are additionally the proposed model 1D CNN that are used to demonstrate the accuracy of 91% and 92% using UMAPAL and SISPAL dataset showcasing its uh, ability to accurately detect faults and the superior performance compared to the other models. Finish the presentation with conclusion and the future scope. This study enhanced elderly fault detection by integrating deep learning and IoT technology. The 1D C proposed 1D CNN model achieved an impressive accuracy just uh, like we uh, previously mentioned 91% and 92% on SISPOL dataset and UMAPOL dataset at 25 features. The future work sh should refine the deep learning model and include diverse or more dataset to use advanced sensor. These efforts can enhance the accuracy, reliability and applicability in the integration te technology in this integration technology into healthcare settings will boost the safety for those who prone for faults. Also, there are one more future work like including fatality rates in the alert reinforcement system that effectiveness the advanced fault detection combined with the fatality consideration improve the quality of life at risk. Individual by providing timely assistance by reducing the con uh, contributes to the reliable uh, detection system enhancing safety and well-being of the real world scenario. That means we have to uh, have to uh, we have to use or deploy the model in real world scenario cases uh, for the more effective uh, and more advanced fault detection system or more robust fault detection system for this. Here are the references. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for your attention. I am open to any question you may have.